tasting like a boss. How you guys doing? I got Dustin Henderson Smith here. He's gonna help me with the review today. And he's my crazy eyed dog. If you've ever noticed, he has a, he's like, oh, oh. He has the side eye and everything else. And that makes sense because today we are doing, for a crazy eyed dog, we're doing Jamaican Me Crazy by Bones Coffee Company. Now I wanna let you guys know, it is very hot as you can see by Dustin putting out his tongue, okay? So Dustin, you want some water? Want some water? Okay. At some point in the review, if I put Dustin down, rest assured he's in the shade. I've got it up and I'm gonna put his water down. But I don't want him getting too hot because I'm sweating. But I know you guys like the outside picture. So this punishment is all for you. So you better share it with your friends and make them subscribe. And by the way, Dustin, we got to 300 subscribers. We did it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. It's all because of you guys, and let's just keep going with this taste journey. But you are panting like crazy, buddy. You did your cameo. Thank you so much. You get down in the shade if you want. Here you go. And here's your water, okay? Here's your water. You drink it up. So if you hear some sloshing around, that is him hydrating. Anyway, woo, I am sweating like crazy. Probably like all of America. As you guys probably know, I'm here in Florida. We got a heat advisory right now uh, where it says it feels like 110 degrees. That's not lying. I probably will have sweat rings by the end of this video, but it's worth it, I guess. And for everybody else out there, please hydrate and stay cool. Please, please, please. And I guess it makes sense that it's so hot in a day like this to be doing Jamaican Me Crazy. I've only been to Jamaica once and it wasn't a destination trip. It was part of a cruise. And I do remember to this day as I stepped off the ship thinking to myself that maybe with the exception of the one time we went to Grand Caymans, that I felt like I was in the hottest place on the planet. I felt like the sun was leaning on me personally like we were good friends. So let's look at the cover art on this. Jamaican Me Crazy. We got the Rastafarian on there. We got a toucan. And then we interestingly have, we. it's a jungle theme, jungle, you know, scenery. And we have snakes. Snake here, snake here. On the side, snake replication, two more snakes. Over here, two more snakes. And that was interesting to me because although I know there's a lot of jungle in Jamaica, I didn't necessarily think they were known for snakes. And so I looked into it and they are not actually known for snakes. They don't really have a lot of snakes the way you would think they would. Uh, in fact, they're actually known more for their bats, iguanas, and these things called conies, which you got to look about. They're really, really cute. Uh, like a little kind of a rat, but like a cute rat or a cuter rat. But the conies do get eaten by boas. So, I mean, they do have snakes, just I guess they wanted something colorful and you can make snakes colorful. So it is a vanilla caramel and coffee liqueur flavored coffee. Never had it before. On the back it says, Jamaican me crazy. Are you Jamaican? Because Jamaican me crazy, man. We've taken our medium roast Arabic uh, beans and combined them with the perfect balance of vanilla, caramel, and coffee liqueur flavors. From the brew until the last sip, you'll swear you've been transported to a tropical oasis. Well, I feel like I am in a <laughs> tropical forest right now uh, just from being outside. So, all right, let's 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 do this review. So scent-wise, pop it open. It's got a good smell to it. Now, middle daughter of boss had it yesterday and she thought the smell was great. To me, I detect a little bit of the caramel, but it didn't smell exactly the way I thought it would. Uh, but when I brewed it up, things changed. More of the scent came out when I brewed it. We're gonna be doing a three-way review, guys. So we've got it in cold brew. We got the Bones mug. We've got it in drip. Nothing like drinking hot coffee on a hot day. It's s'morey time. And then we have espresso. So let's go right to the cold brew. See what we've got going on. Tasting like a boss. Obviously, cold brew for 24 hours. Hmm, okay. Okay. The caramel flavor is more defined in this than in their other coffees that have caramel. Like uh, they have uh, uh, salty caramel. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ones that have caramel. I mean, ones that have butterscotch flavors are actually a little more intense, but this caramel here is probably the most caramel of the flavors. When it says coffee liqueur, I don't know why you would have to say coffee liqueur since it is coffee, but I'm really just tasting a, a really good, I'm tasting a very good caramel flavored coffee 
that reminds me of those caramels or like vanilla caramel. Sorry if I'm sweating like crazy guys, woo. Uh, but they are like, you know, those homemade vanilla caramels or when you go to this specialty candy stores and they've got the bigger caramels, the premium ones, that's what this tastes like. And in that regard, it's quite good. However, I noticed that there are a lot of bright notes in it. And I'm wondering if that's gonna affect its flavor when we get to the espresso. So uh, for me, is it one of my fla favorite flavors? No, I do like caramel, but I began to realize over time that maybe caramel is not my favorite thing when it comes to coffee, sorry. But if you like caramel, there you go. Does it make me feel like I'm in an island? I think the sun that's beating down on me is doing more than that. So, all right. Also, it's like noon, cause I'm an idiot. All right, next. Going to the drip in the S'more Time mug. Makes me think of the fall, which would be so much nicer. I can't wait till fall's here. Now I'm thinking about it. Ooh, it's gonna hopefully feel good. All right, smell-wise on this bad boy, it's good. Very good, actually. Um, let's go with the flavor, see what we think. All right. Man, much better, much better. Here, that's a good caramel cold brew. Here. Mm. The vanilla notes, the caramel notes with the coffee, really good. And it's hot. So, you know, you would think I would not really want something hot while I'm in the hot, hot heat, but man, the flavor is bringing me back. So, yeah, that's good to me. There's a little bit of bitterness at the end, but I don't mind that. I like that in my, uh, my uh, drip coffee. It's a little bit of bitterness. It's a lot better than brightness as far as I'm concerned. I like if it's just even keel, but if you can't, I'd rather have a little earthy, a little bitter. So thumbs up on the cold brew, big thumbs up on the drip. Now let's move to the espresso. Kind of worried here. Let's give it a shot. Tastes like a boss. Smells even more intense than the drip. Wow. It really works on the espresso. That really works with the espresso. You do get the caramel notes. The brightness I thought was gonna be pulled out that it was really tasting in the cold brew. No, not at all. There's no bitterness. It's like uh, we did a review of, uh, uh, of uh, King Harv's coffee, that Malaysian coffee that it was like perfectly even keel. This here, espresso wise, that's what it tastes like to me, a perfectly even espresso. So, okay, thumbs up for the cold brew. Wish I could just slosh it all over myself. In fact, maybe I'll do that and get more views. Thumbs up on the cold brew. On the drip, big thumbs up. And on the espresso, I'll be damned if it doesn't work. So yes, my friends, Jamaican Me Crazy has pulled the trifecta. It works in all three formats. Congratulations, Bones. And that's about it. I'm gonna get out of this hot sun. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit alerts. Thank you guys. You're now part of a group of 300 people, possibly more at this point who follow us in this flavor journey. Thank you so much for making it so much fun for me and for my family. Till next time, you're Dustin drinking. I might stick my face in that bowl in a second. All right, I'm gonna, all right, till next time, keep tasting like a boss.